The city of Montreal here taking a step to reduce the amount of paper sent to recycling centers. And Mayor Valérie Plante outlined a new policy today. So this has to do with how the Publisac will be distributed. So starting in May of 2023, they will only be given out to people who put a sticker on their door actually requesting them. So it's going to be an opt-in model. And this announcement marks a victory for critics who have been calling on the city to end door-to-door distribution of the Poupli Sac. They've been at this fight for years now. And that includes our next guest. Charles Montpetit is a resident in Rosemont. And in 2019, he launched a petition calling for flyers to be distributed only to people who request them. He gathered more than 16,000 signatures at the time, and Shal joins us live now on the line. Shal Montpetit, how are you feeling today with this news that, that the city of Montreal is going to adopt this opt-in model? Well, obviously, it's. Uh, I feel quite an, an accomplishment because... Uh, it's something that we've been after for three years, and uh, it required a lot of uh, pressure on the city because they weren't easy to convince, and we had to maintain that even though uh, the issue uh, fell out of the public eye for a few years. So right now, I feel quite elated. Okay, you used the word elated there. Shal, can, can you tell me why are you so passionate uh, about this cause? Well, the thing is, environment is the single biggest issue uh, these days, um, planet-wide. And there are plenty of groups who tackle the uh, bigger angles, you might say, but uh, I wanted to contribute in an area that nobody was actually covering, not even the uh, uh, Suzuki Foundation of, or Equiterre in Montreal. So I figured uh, this is something that I feel I can actually tackle, and I submitted the proposals to the city and uh, eventually convinced them, with the help of all the signatories in the petition, to hold hearings about the subject, and the uh, organizers of the hearings uh, unanimously recommended the solution that I was proposing, that is, distribution only to those who are interested, and also not in plastic bags, because that is a major problem. The mix of paper and plastic is what keeps all the flyers from getting recycled. Because Uh, people take the whole thing, and if they don't leaf through it, the the whole thing goes into the recycling bin, which uh, I have been told from, from recycling experts that you should separate the two. Yes, but that is blaming the customer for a waste which uh, could be avoided at the start by the very company who distributes these flyers. If they were in the paper envelopes, there wouldn't be any problem uh, with uh, separating plastic and paper. And right now, just because there's a mix of those two materials, uh, we end up burying most of the uh, uh, waste matter which is distributed to everybody in Montreal, even those who don't even ask for it. So that made no sense whatsoever to me, and I'm glad to see that the uh, city finally uh, decided to act on that. Shall you say um, this was a tough sell. Why do you think that was? Well, I have no idea, because to me it simply makes sense. But uh, the city of Montreal is like a big ocean liner. It takes a long time, even when you know that you're headed for an iceberg, it takes a long time to convince them that they should should change uh, their course. So I believe this is something that is, unfortunately, a regular thing in politics. Everybody is uh, waiting to see if an issue will simply go away if they ignore it, and they will only act on it if they see that it doesn't. Well, we are getting lots of reaction from listeners. I'll just get to some of the text messages that we got. Yan in Little Burgundy just texting in to say, I have a love-hate relationship with the Publisac. I love it when I'm in town. I hate it when I'm away. They should have a we no two-sided delivery sign that we can display, like the old milk delivery days. That That is from Yan. Someone else texting in to say, I have had a no junk mail sign on my door for 20 years. It works pretty well, but I will 
will be glad to see the opt-in model instead. Someone else texting in to say, I appreciate the Publisac. I will continue to request it. I like seeing the specials uh, as a hard, in hard copy. Someone else texting in to say, this opt-in for Publisac is so overdue. For decades, tons of paper and plastic have been dumped on the doorsteps of Montrealers who ultimately pay the expense of recycling it. It's a shameful business model that is finally being reined in. Um, Shaw, what kind of reaction have you been hearing today? Most people that I uh, hear from are uh, very satisfied with the city of Montreal's decision, and uh, the few people who might disagree, it's usually because they think that we want to ban the entire thing, which is not the case. I've been a long-time defender of free expression, which applies to even commercial and uh, advertising exp expressions, and uh, I've, I've never even tried to get the whole thing banned. What will happen now is that the company will only be, be distributing the material to the doors that bear a sticker saying, we want it here. So your listener who wanted a yes or no sticker is basically going to get her, her wish. And that's a big change because when people uh, who didn't want the public act were the ones who were being forced to uh, put up a red sticker saying, no, not here, the company wasn't abiding by uh, those requests. We've photographed 30,000 instances of uh, poor deliveries that uh, were improperly made, and that probably was part of uh, what convinced the city that uh, this needed to change. Well, someone texting in to say, uh, the Publisac, I got so fed up of having my pas de circulaire sign ignored um, that, that, that I had to keep calling them. So um, we're hearing some of that on the text line as well. Shall not everyone is pleased with today's decision by Montreal Mayor Valérie Plante. Uh, some of the stakeholders not happy. Transcontinental, the uh, printing company behind the Publisac, released a statement in it, it said that it denounces this decision, and it says that especially today, with the cost of living and inflation at an all-time high, that people need access to information to the weekly flyers, that you can't assume that everyone has internet and can get the specials online. And it also says it's a tool for neighborhood businesses to get and encourage people to shop local. What do you say to that argument? Well, as far as the uh, local shopping is concerned, uh, I'm sorry to uh, disagree here, but uh, I've been looking at all the public acts every week to find what kind of local store is advertising in my area. And uh, basically, just about every week, all we get are the largest chains and nothing else. So the uh, pretext that this is to help the uh, local businesses doesn't hold water as far as I'm concerned. Also, it's quite normal that a company that makes millions of dollars uh, with the current system is not keen of, on changing it. So uh, I would rather listen to uh, the ecological associations which uh, believe that this is a major change. The city of Montreal has uh, made a survey even amongst uh, um, the, the the companies that do advertise in the Publisac, and 82% of the population and the companies and the stores, both of them, at 82% rate, favor the new uh, regulation that will be enforced as of next year. So uh, this, to me, is a bit more credible than taking the word of somebody who simply stands to... Uh, try to make more money out of this. Shell, one argument that I saw today uh, has to do with, you know, local news and the local newspaper and digital newspapers of neighborhoods, because those neighborhood, the, the weekly hebdomadaire and those weekly papers are inserted into the Publisac, and Metro Media, the company that, that owns these newspapers, has come out today with a statement as well. It has said that it has concerns about getting community news out to people um, because th those weekly papers are inside the, the Publisac. Is that a concern for you as well? 
Metro Media has actually worked in close collaboration with the city of Montreal prior to the uh, announcement today, and they've released a statement that say that they say where they say that they support the city of Montreal's decision, and uh, uh, this is something that to me won't change a thing because their readership. Uh, is going to be based on the people who actually want the Publisac. They will simply stand to lose the people who did not read the, their papers before. Uh, those uh, like myself who uh, request that there, re there be no delivery uh, on their doorstep weren't reading the papers in the first place. So, uh, in fact... What this will do for Metro Media, it will lower the rates that they were paying in order to appear in the public sack, since they will not have to pay any more for a readership that they weren't having, but that the uh, company was distributing to anyway. They were charging a high price in order to uh, deliver those newspapers to everybody in Montreal, even though they were unread in many places. Well, Metro Media in a statement today said it's worried about increased cost of distribution because it would have to have distribution points across certain neighborhoods, and it's worried that the cost would go up. And the city of Montreal has heard them, and they will be helping along to uh, facilitate that transition. So basically, um, we cannot simply continue to uh, put out waste that uh, is delivered to people who don't want it just in order to um, uh, make uh, businesses uh, uh, assume that uh, this will go on for, forever like that. There's a big concern uh, worldwide that we have to change our ways and eliminate the waste at the source. And to me, this is the important issue of the day. And uh, obviously, people tend to resist change. But uh, when the changes are implemented, most people eventually come around to it. And Shal, you know, what's through your research that you've done through all this, what's your reading or prediction of the situation here? Right now, 800,000 public sacks are distributed. Um, do you have a sense of how many Montrealers would opt out? I don't, uh, but uh, I'll leave it to them. The thing is, the company that distributes the public sac, Transcontinental, has simply said that they will stop distributing them in Montreal because to them it's it won't be worth it anymore. And that doesn't even make sense to me because uh, a lot of uh, magazines are surviving with uh, publication rates that are way lower than what the public sac is, uh, is reaching as far as homesteads. So um, if they don't want to even reduce their waste, then the city has to do it for them. And uh, what will probably happen is the same thing that has happened in Mirabel uh, uh, last year, that is, Publisac tried to sue the city. And uh, we don't have a result of that court action yet, but Montreal apparently has decided that uh, they don't need to uh, wait it out and see what happens in another city. And I think that will actually influence a lot of of cities throughout the province to do the same thing that Montreal has done. That is, let's not wait anymore to see what happens in a court case, and let's do the right thing and try to be more environmentally friendly. Well, this is the same thing the that has line. happened in the past with uh, plastic bags, by the way. Most cities followed suit when Montreal banned them in stores. Well, one person on the text line wondering, what's, is this also going to happen in Laval, or for now, is this strictly a, a Montreal thing? So we'll, we'll see where this goes. Shall this was a retirement passion project for you. What are you going to do with your time now? My God, this is 
not finished at all because I expect that uh, Publisac will still be resisting and as long as the new policy in Montreal is not in place, I'm going to keep harping uh, in order to make sure that this doesn't vanish in uh, uh, by uh, May 2023. When this is done, then I'm going to start to relax. Charles Montpetit, a resident of Rosemont, and uh, who started this petition back in 2019 to get the Publisac as an opt-in model and not have it automatically distributed door-to-door. Thanks for your time today. Thank you.